hard, but we're still doing fine. Because Jesus, he will always be with us. Hello, Camp Cascadia friends. This is Pastor Luke from here in our chapel in the woods at Camp Cascadia. I wish that I could be gathering with you in this space each morning this week for our chapel time and our Bible story time. But since I can't be here with you in person for our virtual Camp Cascadia, I'm going to bring some Bible stories and some time here in this chapel to you for you to watch and listen and talk about in your homes this week for virtual Camp Cascadia. And we're going to start with a memory verse. We always have a theme memory verse for our times together at Camp Cascadia. And this year, because in this season of quarantine, because of the coronavirus or other reasons, we might have lots of reasons to feel afraid or to wonder or worry whether God is with us. So our theme memory verse is from Isaiah chapter 43, something to remind us that God is with us wherever we are, where you are, where I am, and wherever you go this summer. The verse goes like this. Don't fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Don't fear, I am with you. Do you want to try saying that with me? Don't fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Don't fear. I am with you. Isaiah 43, verse 1 and verse 5. And I have a Bible story for you today based on this passage from Isaiah chapter 43. The story is called, You Are Not Alone. Have you ever been afraid? Everyone is afraid sometimes. That's okay. The people who heard the words God gave Isaiah knew what it was like to be afraid. They were living in a very scary time. They were forced to leave their homes and they weren't allowed to go back. Some people felt as if their whole world was ending. What was going to happen? Would they ever be able to go home? Did God even love them anymore? Isaiah wanted to give God's people hope and encouragement. God had this message for them. Do not be afraid. I am with you. I know your name and you are special to me. When you get into the water, I will be with you. I will not let the water get too high. When you walk through the fire, you won't be burned because I will be with you. I am God. You are so special and I love you. I will bring you home again and make sure that you stay safe. God knew that their lives were hard. Isaiah's job as a prophet was to bring these words to God's people. One day they were written down so that everyone would know that God is with them no matter what. Even when bad things happen, God is there with us. We don't have to do anything alone. God is with us even during the scariest times. I think that's good news 
to be reminded that God is with us even when things seem scary. You know, the Bible tells us lots of times that God is with us. In Deuteronomy, God says to God's people, I will never leave you or forsake you. And some of the last words Jesus said to his disciples in Matthew 28, Jesus said, and I will be with you even to the end of the age. God wants us to know that God is always with us. So even when times are scary, or we are feeling worried, we don't have to be afraid because God is with us. Here's a picture, an illustration from this book that shows a child being comforted in places where they might be afraid. And here are some questions that you can use with your family or your sisters and brothers or people in your home to talk about this story and think about it in your own life. These are questions about what we hear, questions about what we see, and questions about how we can act. Here's a question. What words help you when you're afraid? What would you want to hear God say to you when you are afraid? Here's a seeing question. God's words bring comfort. Which of God's messages would you like to see when you wake up each morning? And here's a question about how we can act. Choose a sentence from God's words to the people. A sentence you heard in the story, or maybe something from our memory verse. Choose a sentence from God's words to the people and write them on a sheet of paper. Decorate it, color it, and display it where you and your family can see it. I think that's a great way for us to let some of these words remind us that God is with us. Would you say our memory verse with me one more time and then we'll have a prayer. Don't fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Don't fear. I am with you. Isaiah 43, verse 1 and verse 5. Let's have a prayer. Loving God, we thank you that you are always with us wherever we are and wherever we go. Help us to remember this. Help us to remind each other of this and help us to hear your voice speaking to us, that you love us, that you are with us, that you've called us by name and we are yours. Thank you for the comfort this brings to us when we are afraid. We pray this in Jesus' name and all God's children said. Amen. We're in quarantine because of COVID-19. Camp Cascadia, it's like we've never seen. We're all online, but we're still doing fine. Because Jesus will always.